College football fans, the championship is here, and DraftKings Sportsbook is making sure you can throw down on the epic showdown for a shot at big bucks. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting $5 on the championship game. Download the app now and use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting just 5 bucks on college football. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk. One of the hottest names in TV right now, at uh, least for uh, over the last 24, 48 hours, Ocho. Thank you yeah. for joining us. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number, 85. Bengals ring of famer, route runner extraordinaire, soccer guru, Chad yeah. Ocho Cinco. I mean, Ocho Cinco Johnson. Hey, come on, uncle. You got to get my name right, man. Come on, man. Hey, you've been, you been drinking that little pussy hair a little bit too much now. <laughs> man. <laughs> man, oh. Ocho, I said that the other night, man. Everybody been, everybody been in the comments talking about, man, I like that. He need to change his name to Ocho. But uh, Ocho, <laughs> Cinco, Ocho Cinco Johnson. Guys, yeah. I want to thank you. We've sold out Laportier on the link, so we don't have it pinned tonight. But what we're going to do, we're going to pin Ocho's cigar. Ooh, so you'll I be like able that. to go get that and sell him out because yeah. you've done a great job. Uh, have we got it pinned at the top? Okay, we've got uh, Chad's cigar. Pinned at the top of the chat. Make sure you do him a solid. Yeah. Support him. Go out, buy his cigars like you've supported your favorite on. We yes, will so. greatly appreciate that because you've done us really, really proud. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit that like button. Make mm-hmm. sure you hit that subscribe button. You can get the Nightcats podcast feed through the Nightcap feed. You can also get it through Club Shay Shay. You've done great because what we're seeing is that you're still listening through the Club Shay Shay feed while also listening to it part-time through the cl- uh, uh, the nightcap, nightcap yeah. feed. So we appreciate that. Thank you again so much. You've mm-hmm. emptied the stock. We should be back up operational by Monday because, guys, we did not expect this. Yeah. And the support that you've given me since I've been on television in 2016 and Undisputed and the way you've supported me as I've transitioned and gone to ESPN with First Take, doing my thing with Ocho Cinco here at Nightcap, also, one night a week with Gil. I appreciate that. So we're going to do a mm-hmm. solid. We're going to do Ocho right. We're going to yeah. sell out his cigars. That's what we're going to do. So we pinned it at the top. Ocho, uh, yeah. I'll let you tell, talk to them about your cigars and what they're going to be getting when they uh, sign up, when they uh, order an 85 cigar. Well, I have I have two different blends that I worked diligently on uh, about maybe three, four years ago. Obviously, most of you that 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 know me know that my only vice is smoking cigars. So what I wanted to create, I wanted to create uh, a blend for those that aren't even you don't even have to be a cigar smoker, but it's all about the experience. So I have two blends, the Boa Vida and El Patron. Uh, you can you can enjoy both. Not too spicy, very, very smooth, not too peppery. So those of you who are not, you know, um, advanced cigar smokers can enjoy it as well and obviously you can you can pair it with unks i call it cognac you can, you can pair it with unks <laughs> cognac you know it's and, unbelievable cigars yeah. go unbelievable with yeah. cognac and we paired it together with a few yeah. uh so we're looking to have like when we go to uh the super bowl mm-hmm. if you're very fortunate enough and uh we're gonna you know we're trying to get a um a sense of how many people, because the venue is only going to be maybe 250 people. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to have, we're going to have a a situation where we'll be able to have the cigar, uh, Ocho cigar and my Mm -hmm. cognac, and you'll get an opportunity to taste it. Um, So that's that's what we're headed with that. But make sure you do a solid. We pin Ocho cigar at the top of the chat. Laporte is not there because you you, you purchased us out. So now (laughs) we're going to do Ocho a solid, and we're going to empty his stock. I appreciate so that. What we I do. appreciate that. Um, appreciate that. So we're going to get, listen, um, this is a, a very last minute um, because originally we weren't going to go on until Saturday. Mm-hmm. But because of what's been going on with the chat with uh, with my chat with uh, Cat Williams, mm-hmm. and there's some, there's a, a, a few Super, uh, uh, Super Bowl, a few NFL topics about resting players. Some of the players, we know Lamar Jackson is going to rest. Yeah. We know uh, Patrick Mahomes is going to rest. Uh, some of the, um, the Rams players are going to rest. We know Brock mm-hmm. Purdy is going to rest. Travis Kelsey is going to try to get 16 yards to continue his streak of 1,000-yard seasons, which I think will put him at nine, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. That's rare fire there. He already has the record. Yeah. I don't think any other tight end has more than four 
thousand yard season, mm -hmm. let alone consecutive. So right. he has to get that. And as soon as Blaine Gabbert gets him those 16 yards, Travis Kelsey is heading to the sideline. Side so nephew, good luck on that. And I hope you get that done. But I remember, Ocho, you remember a couple of days ago, I think it was like Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. I said, I did a sat down. I have an interview. Yeah. And I said, it's going to be the interview of 24. Oh, yeah. I said, he's going to break the internet. And yeah. people are like, well, who is it? They're trying to, who is it going to be? Is it going to be LeBron? Is it going to be President Obama? Right. Um, I said, but this guy and what he said, mm -hmm. I said, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to surprise a lot of people. Yeah. And the, and, and the interview that I'm talking about is everybody's talking about it is the Cat Williams. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been trying to line this interview up since about the end of 2022. Yes, sir. And he's like, I don't know when I'm going to be on your side of town. Yeah. But I, I, I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that in mind. Wait, now, so mind you had you had this brewing? You had this brewing since I've been 2022? To, I've been trying to set it up. So all the tweets. So basically all the 20. I, I ended up getting this interview the very tail end of mm. night of 23. Mm. So I'm sitting on that like, man. And uh, and I'm and, I, and I'm telling CJ, CJ and I was talking. He's like, what do you think? He's like, it's going to happen. I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I said, all I can do is reach out. I can ask. Right. And he hit me back. Let's do it. Mm. And I remember telling, I said, CJ, Cat Williams people hit me up and say they want to do it. Mm -hmm. He's like, for real? I was like, yeah, for real. I said, uh, whatever we got, so whatever we have planned, mm -hmm. I don't like them. I said, let's just clear it out because right. I don't know what day. It might be a Tuesday. It might be a Wednesday. It might yeah. be a Thursday. It might be a Friday. But mm -hmm. clear it out because whenever the guest is available, let's do it. Right. I did Chris Brown's interview at mm -hmm. about eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night at his right. place. Right. So there's not a time that in which if I'm not working at first take uh -huh. that I'm not available. Right. So if you want to do it at midnight, we'll have a team there to shoot that, shoot that footage at midnight. That's, that's live. So he comes in. So I get there. I try to get there a little bit before the guest. Mm -hmm. CJ might have, we might have some last minute. Okay. CJ. Okay. I, I kind of got a, a feeling of kind of how I want to go. I've moved some things around from the question, the questions that you came up with and I came right. up with, but I've moved some of the stuff around because I think it just feels better. When I was going over this last night, it just felt better to go in this sequence. He's mm -hmm. like, okay, hey, I trust you. You trust me. Just go with your feel. Yeah. So I get there. I'm getting mic'd up and I'm just talking and he comes in. Mm -hmm. So he's already on one. <laughs> he's, he, and he says, I've been waiting a whole year. Right. To, to say my piece. The right the right space and platform to say yes, his piece. Yes, yes, right. yes. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, Shannon left so much on the table. Shannon is not a journalist. Mm -hmm. I never said I was a journalist. Right. If you listen in my intro, I said, I normally what I say, the person that's coming by for conversation right. and a drink, I'm a conversationalist, not right. an interviewer. It's a different space. Mm -hmm. He said, you've allowed other people a very safe place. That's right. why we like coming. Key word, safe. Safe place. Safe place. I've also said on numerous occasions, if you want 60 minutes, if you want Dateline, mm -hmm. if you want uh, 48 hours, mm -hmm. I'm not the place for you. Right. Go to those places and get those type of interviews. Right. Go to Lester Holt. Go mm -hmm. to Nora O'Donnell. Go mm -hmm. to, I'm not Mike Wallace, rest his soul. I'm not Ed Bradley, rest his soul. Or Dan Rather or Walter Cronkite, rest mm -hmm. their soul. Tom right. Brokaw, that's not who I am. Right. So if you want those type of interviews, mm -hmm. you need to go to places that have those type of interviews. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Now, the problem is, Cat Williams was my 102nd interview mm. conversation on Club Shay Shay. He right. was the 102nd. Nobody said anything. Oh, but Shannon, you left this on the bone. I've had Magic Johnson. I've had uh, uh, Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. I've had Michael Blackson. I've had Cedric the Entertainer. I've had uh, uh, DC Youngfly. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of people. Yeah, Nobody okay. said anything about pushback and follow-up questions mm -hmm. until I got Cat Williams on. Yeah, And right. this thing went took off like wildfire. Mm -hmm. And the people that's commenting is like, you got 200 followers. You can't be a journalist with 200 followers right? because even the, even people that don't know the journalists, they got at least four or 5,000. Right. You're upset that he said everything that he said 
mm-hmm. and he said it on my platform. Right. And now it's bringing attention to my platform. Mm-hmm. Just like I've had Ricky Smiley on. Mm-hmm. I've had Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. You didn't say anything. I didn't push back about Steve when he said right. things about when his marriage. You didn't right. say a word. Nah. When he spoke about his daughter, you didn't say a word. Right. I asked Cedric about did he steal Cat Williams' joke. You didn't say, Shannon, you didn't follow it up. Mm. I've asked Ricky Smiley, volunteered. He said, I didn't ask him. He said that right. he was originally supposed to play Money Mike and mm. Cat was supposed to play Santa Claus. Right. He said that. You never said a word mm. about follow-up questions, and I left so much on the bone. Mm. It wasn't until this video, which right. is almost at about 11 million views in, in less than 48 hours. Yes. Woo. Now, mind you, now mind you, Ocho, Steve Harvey's done 9 million views. Yeah. Uh, um, who else? Uh, DC Youngfly is at 4 million. Ricky mm. Smiley, over 3 million. Mm. Um, Magic Johnson, over 2 million. I mean, a lot of these videos have right. gone over, has gone viral and had viral moments. Nothing is caught fire like this. Right, right, right. This is what's upsetting them mm-hmm. because had, first of all, he wasn't going to go on it because they don't know. He doesn't want to be. He wants to have a conversation. He yeah. said, you've allowed everybody else to mm-hmm. come up here and say mm-hmm. their piece. Yeah. The hardest thing for me, Ocho, as the interviewer, was the way he started. Mm-hmm. My thing was, do I interrupt him and no. get this thing back on track or right. do I let him go? See, uh, when you're interviewing somebody like that and with the safe place that you do call it, the fact that it's Cat Williams or Sega Entertainer or any of these polarizing iconic figures, you have to let them get their piece and say what they need yes. to say. That's the whole point of you having a platform and him willing to come on your platform to be able Thank to you. do an interview and tell his truth is you got to let him go. Yeah, you, you can't steer it. You can't steer right. this one. And and so he did. He did thirty minutes before I asked anything. Where you from? How yeah. this? Your dad? Your mom? Right. Brothers and sisters? Mm-hmm. But he wanted to get that get that off his chest. And yeah. people say no, no. He says. The truth doesn't need motivation. Oh, no. That's what he had. said. He said the truth doesn't need motivation. It he never said had. there's there's God's way and there's that. And if it's not God, it's mm. the wrong way. Way, yeah. So while all you guys said, well, Shannon, you needed a follow-up question with what? I said, I didn't ask no follow-up question when 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 said, said he didn't mm-hmm. steal the joke. Right. That's not for me to decide. You decide. Mm-hmm. You decide who do you agree with. That's mm-hmm. not my decision to make. Right. I told you when I first started this, my very first interview was my brother. I said, my job, I'm going to try you try to bring you some of the biggest celebs, entertainers, and athletes right. that I can possibly bring. And I'm going to allow them to have a conversation and maybe tell you something or share something with you, Ocho, mm-hmm. that they've never said. Right. Or they've said it such a long time ago, you don't remember it. But I want that, that entertainer, that celeb, or that athlete to share some things with you mm. and give you a different glimpse of right. who or she or who they are, he or she. That was it. I never said I was a journalist. I never professed to be a journalist. Mm-hmm. I'm an entertainer. Yeah, I have entertainers. And again, if you want hard hitting questions, yeah, sixty minutes is the platform from you. Right. Dateline, forty eight hours. Go to Lester Holt. Go to somebody that but, does but this, that. This, this you got to understand. Those aren't safe places. Those no. aren't places where you can get what you want to say off. Right. They so, dictate. They dictate everything. Yes. So when you go me, that route. Ocho, you make a great point. So let me ask you this. You think Cat Williams was going to open up as much as he did on any other platform? Absolutely not. If Absolutely you go back not. to look, what's the longest? Not, I mean, when we when we look at it, what's the longest the longest interview he had done? Cat. Now, mind you, I haven't seen anything he posted on his social media page since right. twenty twenty since twenty twenty. Right. That's four years ago. No uh-huh. post. Uh huh. Yeah. No. 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 Nobody. No, nobody else. I mean, the whole point is it's almost like barbershop talk. Being able to sit down with you. Listen, I sat down with you and we talk. You had to kick me. You had to kick me out. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. had to kick me out when I did Club Shay Shay because I wasn't. I was in such a. Yeah. You like place. we done? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I was ready to go now. You know, I, can talk, I, can talk Ocho, now. I had you on. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody say. Well, why didn't you ask him about that situation that happened in Miami? Why mm-hmm. did you ask him about this? 
Right. Ain't nobody said anything. Uh-huh. You've almost said six million with Coach Prime. Well, yeah. you've been married this many times. Nobody said a word. Yeah. It wasn't until I got Cat Williams. Yeah. It, it wasn't it, until this thing took off like wildfire. Yeah. It is all across the internet. And it, and it is more so about not only the traction, but it's what he said and the yes. controversy that is stirred up. So now everybody has questions, their truths, their facts. It's, it's, so the it, dude, we've been listen, able to, that, shit, that, that, that shit was awesome. That shit, that shit was awesome. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Obviously, me, no, I, I know Cedric. I know Steve. I knew Bernie Mac back, you know, when, when back when Mac was alive. Goddamn, I'm, I got a, some stories about Cat. I'm going to tell you that a lot of people in the chat watching a lot of stuff that you probably didn't even know yourself. But we, we'll get to that later on when we, when we get into it. And it's, look, I'm not saying we the best of friends, but I talked mm. to Steve Harvey. Right, right, right. I right. got Steve Harvey number in my phone. Right. I got Cedric number in my yeah. phone. Yeah. I got Kevin Hart's number in yeah. my phone. Yeah. Earthquake and I, we talk the most. I mm-hmm. can sit, look, and I, I'm friendly, uh, cordial. I've been to Kevin Hart's house, mm-hmm. been through his house, met his wife, just yeah. saw him the other night at another function, showed yeah. me his cars, had, mm-hmm. a, had conversation with him. Yeah. We're friendly. Yeah. Earthquake and I, mm-hmm. I met Earthquake about six, seven years ago. We've been cool ever since. He right. called sometimes Earthquake just text me, brother. Mm-hmm. I just called to say I love you. Yeah. Keep doing your thing. Shine, yeah. shine, king. Shine yeah, big, so. shine black man. Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Hey, I got this thing. I got this. Uh uh, I got I'm at this comedy. Hey, c- swing through if you get a chance to. Right. So he and I have a different type of relationship mm-hmm. than than the other guys. Right. But do I talk to Steve Harvey? Absolutely. Yeah. Have he invited me to his farm in Atlanta? Yes. He invited me to his, I think it's uh, uh Dubai. He has a golf tournament Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Hey, I brought you. I want you to come. So I, I have a great relationship. So it's hard on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, I listen. I I understand. I totally understand where you're coming from. But obviously, when truth is being told, you were just the moderator in between giving the individual it. the space to tell their truth. That's it. Yes. It's no hard feelings towards those that you already know, whether you know them personally or you just know them as associates. And I really enjoyed it in the fact that you give us a space to be able to tell our truth on your platform. It's right. not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And there, right. there was no space for us to be able to do that. Right. And the fact that now we, at, we, we do have one, and this is going to be a trickle effect. It, we, not only did you have Cat Williams, but it's going to be somebody else after that. It's going to be somebody yeah. else after that. And it's going to continue to have that effect where, you know what? I have things I need to get off my chest. What better, what better place to do it? Then on Club Shakespeare's platform, who's not going to judge you? No, he's going he's gonna to ask the questions he needs to ask and allow you to say what you need to say. And that's it. It's simple. And, and the thing was, that, and Cat asked me, he's like, "Well, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you ask Ricky this?" I said, "Cat, normally when people are giving you information right. that you've never heard mm-hmm. or no one else has ever spoken, you right. feel that he was in that situation. He's mm-hmm. giving you pertinent information. I right. have no reason to believe Ricky Smiley is lying to me." Right. Just like when you say something, I when you're telling me this, this, and this. Now, I knew that he was homeless because I talked to Terry Crews. Mm-hmm. I've known Terry Crews. Terry Crews was on the team with my brother in 19, when I, well, uh, back in 90, 91. Right. So I know T. Crews. Right. And he was on the movie. He was a fill in in training day. Mm-hmm. His actual ass role was, a, if I'm not mistaken, was next Friday. Mm hmm. So okay. I have a relationship with I have a, a relationship with T. Cruz. And so for me, that was the hardest part is to hear things. But I said, you know what? I didn't expect, you know what? I knew it was a good end. I knew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I kind of knew. Not, but I didn't Listen, know. Listen, now this Cat Williams. Now there's certain people that you can get yeah. that can move the needle now. There are Ocho. certain people you can get that can move the needle and move it Ocho. big. Ocho, this thing is doing about 500,000 views an hour. Mm. I, I knew it. I, I thought it would. I thought we, I, CJ told me mm-hmm. it's going to be bigger than Steve Harvey. At the time, right. Steve Harvey was about eight, eight point eight million. Oh, so whoa, whoa, right whoa. Where, where was I at? You, uh, you behind time. You and time are tied at Dang. 5.8 million. Okay. I'm coming back. I'm coming back on club. <laughs> I got some controversy to talk about. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so, finna, I'm, I'm finna outdo cat. Fuck this. <laughs> Unless you unless you show up butt naked, I don't know if you could do that. I don't know if you could beat Cat because Cat's almost at eleven million, and we're not even forty eight hours in. And so, yeah. 
I remember rapping the interview. Uh huh. Now, mind you, Ocho, I still got 20 to 30 minutes worth of questions left. Right. <laughs> the, uh, the interview is two hours, 46 minutes, and five right. seconds. And right. we didn't cut anything. Right. And and I remember finishing up, and I look back. I, all, CJ's always sitting behind me, and I remember looking at CJ, mm. and he's shaking his head. And he and I'm like, what? He's like, Shannon, this is gonna break the internet. I said, yeah. You think so? He's like, Yeah, Shannon. He's like, Shannon. Yeah. So Jordan is like, Jordan is shaking his head. He's looking at me like everybody, the makeup, right. everybody's looking like, right. I was like, man, okay, they say it's gonna is that good? Okay, I'm gonna take oh, yeah. because yeah. when you in it, Ocho, you in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't, I mean, and so, bro, and so mm -hmm. he it. We drop. I says, okay, when we go, I say, CJ, we're gonna drop it in the new year. Mm. That's why I start. So I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna tease it. I'm gonna say, right. the, I'm dropping one mm. on Club Shay Shay. Right. I promise you, it's gonna for someone to be better than this and to be bigger than this. Mm -hmm. President Obama is gonna have to come on your come on your podcast. Yeah. And says I'm running for a third term. Mm. That's the only thing that's gonna possibly be bigger. And he right. gonna come on mine and say that. So that's mm. that's that's that. Right. Yeah. When we dropped it, we got 121,000 people watching it live in the chat, Ocho. Mm. So I'm like, okay, this thing might do a million, might do, I say it's going to be, I, and I told, I remember calling CJ, I say it's going to probably do 2.5. Right. Ocho, I wake up this morning, uh -huh. we at 5.2. Come on now. I was like, what the hell? I so I was I'll say now I gotta refigure. Mm -hmm. I say, okay, it's gonna lose some steam. No, 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 no. Ocho, we any, probably any, any, gotta make it around the block first. You gotta make it around Ocho, the block first. Now I'm thinking this thing might do about next Wednesday, this thing might do 20 million views. Yeah, most definitely. It most might definitely. do 20 million views. Most definitely. Because of what Cat did. As, as a matter of fact, here uh, Kevin Hart did the movie. Uh, uh, did the movies he passed on? Kevin Hart responded, "Got to get that anger out you, champ. Mm -hmm. It's honestly sad. In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer, uh, my next film, Lift, which will be dropping on Netflix in eight days. Mm -hmm. There is a moment in the trailer in which Goo Gum, whatever who that is, y'all, y'all, we're gonna have it up on on the thing. They really love you. I know she's talking about Cat. Mark your calendar, world." This is a special one. Yeah. Um, do we we're gonna show we're gonna show we can pull it up right now. We're about to show you what Kat had to say. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me, what Kevin had to say, excuse me. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It did happen. It did. That was Kat explaining Kevin Hart and how someone on the East Coast, primarily on the East Coast, able to come to the West Coast and his career takes off basically like it did. Go ahead, Ocho. I, I have a question. Obviously, I'm not in the comedy space. I don't really understand. But when the opportunity presented itself for Kevin Hart, is it not about timing? Is it not about timing and you taking off at the right time or you just peaking at the right time? And coming to L.A., what do most people do uh, that want to be actors, that want to be producers, that want to be singers, writers, or whatever it may be? They normally get to the West Coast to reach that pinnacle of whatever that dream is they're right. trying to do. You think maybe that might have been the case or the fact that you had to leave the East Coast in Philadelphia and get to L.A.? Yeah. To reach do. the stratosphere I think, where you want to head to? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I don't know because that's really not my field. 
Ocho, we uh, they sold out your cigars. What? Yeah, they sold them out. Hey, I, I they appreciate y'all. They, cra they crashed the site. They, they started ordering something. They crashed the site. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate y'all. But, but they, they say Doug Doug is working on it. Yeah. Okay. It's not used to handling that kind of traffic. I, I, pre I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I thank you because I'm behind on child support. So now I'm going to be able to catch up because of you. you and we go, we go catch you up. <laughs> I think the thing is, is what, what Cat is saying. Yes, sir. That the opportunity that he passed on was because he wasn't willing to compromise his integrity. Ah, okay, 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 okay. That's better understanding. And, and, and Kevin, thank you, thank you and Kevin context. says I didn't, I didn't compromise anything. Right. Here's uh, here's a sound about Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. He had something. He had some things to say about Steve Harvey. Um, we got that sound right. We're about to play the sound that he said about Steve Harvey. Okay. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he, and then he gets this high top fade making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business and it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. Mm -hmm. You would have to have range. Mm. That's what he. That's what he said about Steve Harvey. I'll let people out there. I remember. I'm old enough to remember hanging with Mr. Cooper. If oh, I'm yeah. not mistaken, Holly Robinson Pete was on that show. Yeah, I remember. And, then, with and then Steve Harvey had a show with he and Cedric the Entertainer. Mm -hmm. And so you can deduce whatever you is. I mean, did he steal it? I don't know. But you take whatever you want to take. That's what I do. I present the case. I said, hell, okay, this is it. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if if let's just say Steve is the prosecutor, mm -hmm. Cass the defender. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them get to decide. That's right. for the jury. Right. I, okay. I, I, the listening audience is the jury. Right. I, ha I have a question though. Sure. When, it, when it comes to stuff like that, when it comes to let's say the NFL, for example, mm -hmm. and you see one player on a team that works. What does the following team do after watching film? What What do they do? Yes. They steal. They they steal the plays. Right. When it comes to the corporate world, when it comes to let's say apparel or shoes. Company yeah. has a shoe. They design it a certain way. What do other companies do? Well, they tweak I it tell a little what, bit. They tweak it a little yeah, bit. You better and tweak it a lot the of exact bit. same shoe. Cause so Nike, I, Nike I, and Adidas, they yeah. come, they got patents. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, the silhouette, the silhouette yeah. is the same, but the brand is a check and one and a half mm -hmm. three stripes. But it looks exactly the same. I thought imitation is a form of flattery. Yeah. If someone is willing to take something that you've done and twist the art of it a little bit. Is that is that a bad thing? Again, I'm not in that field. I don't know, so I'm asking the questions. It's like a musician. Let me ask you a question. You're a musician. Right. And somebody takes your song and remakes it. And does a rendition okay of you, it. You okay with that? If they're not compensating you, you okay with that? That's imitation is the highest form of flattery. I, I, I see I see where you're going with that. I, I see where, <laughs> listen, I, I see where you're going. I see I see where you're going with that. But again, I think something like that or something of that magnitude, it, it happens all the time in that field. I'm assuming so. Yeah, um, but it, it happens in so many different other fields as well. So what do you do in a situation like that when someone steals your material? What do you do? I'm, I'm just I, curious. I think, the, I think the thing is what cat cats called called him out. OK, OK. I, I think that's 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 the way that's the approach that he took. Right. Um, It's kind of like you and I do this. Mm -hmm. Now, we know eventually somebody else is going to come in this space and do the nighttime space. Right. Are they going to say, oh, we saw nightcap? With Unc and Ocho, right? And so, or you just go pretend like we didn't exist. Mm. It just, it just go about your business. Oh yeah, this is such and such, and we go blah blah blah. Mm. Oh, so you're not gonna give Ocho and I right. no credit? Yeah, but this, this is the thing. This, this is what we have to understand: the dynamic and the chemistry that we have, and 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 who we are individually as as as, as people. It doesn't matter who comes and tries to do anything predicated to doing at night. There's only right. there's only one Uncanocho. There's only one nightcap. I mean, right. you can you can duplicate it, you can replicate it, but there's only one us. So it would never it would never be the same. It would you're never right. be the same. And there's no disrespect to anyone that wants to do anything of that magnitude. But I'm just saying you're not going to be able to do like listen. It's only one Shannon Sharp that played for the Denver Broncos and Baltimore Ravens. There's mm -hmm. only, there will never be another 85. 
that play for Cincinnati, no matter who wears 85. <laughs> exactly. no, that, that, that's no disrespect. I'm just saying, think about think about this. Think about Martin. Think about the cast of Martin, right? Yeah. Think about the cast. Pam, Gina, Cole, Martin, Tommy. obviously, and then Tommy. Yeah. And then they had Hustle Man, Hustle Man, and, Hustle and Man. Think about the, the main characters. Tell me somebody else that you could interchange and that no. cast would still be the same. No, you couldn't. It wouldn't be the same. No. It wouldn't be the same no matter what you do. Some things are just meant to be. Yeah. But people, can try to, people can try to, to duplicate or have a rendition of it, but it just won't be the same. But here's the thing. Chick-fil-A started with Chick-fil-A is mainly known for the grilled chicken sandwich. Man, that's that's the devil, that's the devil's food, but go ahead. What did Popeyes do? Popeyes say we don't want to be number one. We just want to eat until your market share. Yeah. Yeah. So even if they don't replicate that, let's mm. just say they knock off five, ten thousand viewers. Mm. That's what they're trying to do. Okay, I see. You're not trying when you get into a market, when you get into it, when you're starting up, mm -hmm. um, it's like Tesla. Tesla right. had a big head start on mm -hmm. the extra electric car market. Yeah. BMW in the EV market. Mercedes mm -hmm. in the EV market. Mm -hmm. Rolls Royce is in the EV market. EV market you see right. where I'm going with this? Yeah. The likelihood, because they got uh, Tesla has such a large lead, mm -hmm. the likelihood of them overtaking them is not good. No. But just let me get 10%. 10% mm -hmm. of something is better than nothing. nothing. And this is, what, this is what I tell people. Sometimes people would rather be the king of nothing mm -hmm. as opposed to be a, a queen or a peasant with something. Right. You see what I did with that, Ocho? Yeah. You yeah, would yeah. rather be the king of nothing. Right. As opposed to be the queen or a peasant with something. Right. So they're saying, even if we don't knock you off that perch, all mm. we're trying to dig in is to dig into your market share. If you mm. got a 90% of that, so let me take out five or 10. Five right. or 10 of nothing what I had in the market, mm -hmm. I'm winning. You see what they do? So even yeah. if, no, they can't replicate that. Because you're not going to have somebody with the personalities of you and I. You're mm. not going to have somebody that's as credentialed in the pros in the football space like mm -hmm. you and I. And right. you damn sure not going to be able to have anybody that can tell stories no. like you and I. Uh uh. And ain't nobody finna say be able to say, "Stay with me now," like me. <laughs> 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 Stay with you. Okay. Here's another thing with Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric the mm -hmm. Entertainer. This is what he said on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, here, here's a. Uh, Here's a, a, a cat talking about Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams joke? Yeah. He said it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018. You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, mm -hmm. what doesn't line up? I'm just saying, I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm can't, not a movie can't, star. Can't, can't, can't. What? Look at one baby. That's what Cat Williams had to say about Cedric the Entertainer. Hey, now, I, I know. Go ahead. I go ahead, Ocho. Huh? Yeah. This is, this, this seems a little bit more personal than it is with just getting you getting your piece off and telling your truth. Like I, I would think, especially comedians, especially us, wouldn't we all want to kind of keep that nucleus somewhat tight and no. not no? He he asked me, he said, How close are you friends to the, the, the your opponent? Because he's looking at it like this. If I allow, if I allow comedians or other comedians to steal my jokes then what am I? You stealing my material. You're plagiarizing. Right. You, That's so, why you see, you see when they sued uh 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 blurred lines. What's the guy named Robin Thick? Oh Marvin Thick. Mar Mar Marvin Marvin Gaze Gaze Estate. You see what he is? Estate? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I see. And we going. see we see this quite often. So it's like, and he's like, do you understand how long you have to tell a joke right. to sharp to refine it, to mm -hmm. sharpen it? before mm -hmm. you're able to take it to a special? He said, you mm -hmm. just don't tell a joke. He said, anytime somebody's tell, tell a joke, more mm -hmm. times than not, they've told that joke so many times to refine it, to sharpen it, before right. they take it. It's just like you. The likelihood, what's the likelihood you go out there and you, uh, uh, in a game, a play mm -hmm. that you hadn't practiced? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
and you and, and and the plays that the coaches feel the most satisfied about during the course of the week, mm-hmm. those are the plays that normally go in the game plan and what right. you see on Sunday. Right. So I just I I you know that that really ah fuck when it come to us, man. When it come to us, li- listen to me. It's only so many comedians. Yes. It's only so many of us. It's only so many as so many of us that have cracked into that upper echelon of stand up shows. Yeah. Netflix specials. Mm-hmm. HBC, H- HBO, HBO specials. Yeah. Um, and acting on the big screen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, me, my thinking is we need to keep us all tight and feed off of each other. Right. And help each other out to make sure we all are able to reach that plateau and that pinnacle mm-hmm. of whatever comedy is to bring to you. But to have us going back and forth like this, I think it does us a disservice in that community, in that yeah. space. I'm talking about the, the, com- the comedic space. Yeah. it's a ve- It's been a very few select. I mean, I, I go back, um, Bill Cosby um, mm. was a nice spy. He was the first one, like the first right. black right. to be a comedian and then go. And then you had Richard Pryor. Yeah. Then you had Eddie. Eddie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about comedians. You started stand up. Mm-hmm. I mean, Eddie mm-hmm. went from, you know, doing stand up, doing Saturday mm-hmm. Night Live straight to the big screen. Right. And when he took off, gone. Right. Richard Pryor, stand up, big screen. Gone, yeah. Actually, uh, Bill was doing stand up. He went to TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and took off. And you know what? Think uh, about think Kevin about think Hart. about you got this. Kevin Hart, you got said because yeah. said has done a lot of movies. Johnson yeah. Family Vacation, mm-hmm. uh, Welcome Home, Roscoe Jenkins. Mm-hmm. Said said has been in some movies. Yeah. And this, this is the, this is the funny thing. Uh, one of the things that Cat did say is he talked. He said the word the word range when it comes to acting. But yes. the people that you name, Eddie had range. Richard Pryor had range. They they yes. can and be, being a comedian, you already have to be able to get in the character anyway. Yes. So but, range really shouldn't be an issue in that area no. because the people that he's naming have just that. Yes, yes. I mean, I, I you know, I go back, like I said, uh, Richard and, and Stir Crazy with him and mm. um, uh, Gene Wilder. Yeah. And yeah. Eddie and all those Eddie movies. Eddie, mm-hmm. I mean, Eddie is the standard as far as yeah. comedians right. doing movies. Mm-hmm. Eddie is the standard. Yeah. Eddie is the standard. And I love yeah. Richard. And Richard got it started. And I love mm-hmm. Bill Cotton. What he did, look, look. So I don't want y'all, oh, Shadow say he loved Bill Cosby. I'm talking about Bill Cosby with Fat Albert. I right. don't know if you remember Fat Albert growing up on Sunday. Of course I remember Fat Albert. What you talking Of course. I had, I had the sweater. I Spy was in the 60s. Bill Cosby yeah. was the first black. Mm-hmm. Major role. Bill right. Cosby had that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was the most famous dad. Mm-hmm. The Cosby Show. Yeah. He yeah. owned the Cosby Show and yeah. leased it to NBC. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's still airing today, doing very well. Yeah. Uh, this is what uh, he also has some things to say about Martin, right? Is this one? Wait. Okay, here's what Cedric said. Cedric said, revisionist history, regardless of whatever cat opinion, my mm-hmm. career can't be reduced to one joke Cat Williams claims it is. Mm-hmm. I've been in over 40 movies. My special brand speaks uh, volumes for who I am. The people that I have put on, including Cat in the Hat at the Gibson Amphitheater. Mm. Cedric also said, and to all that tough talk, it's corny as F, AF, which is, you know what it is. I'm a yeah. grown ass man, and none of that ish gonna go like you think. You mm. do know I got this over here. You know what? You know what I would like? Because you have the space and you have the platform, you have the power, you have the voice. They respect you. You could be the one to pull everybody back together. Who me? You you could you could be the one you <laughs> could be the one to bring the band back together. If you don't do it, I do it. If you don't do it, I do it. But that's not really my space. But you could be the one to bring the band back together because we more powerful as one than we are separated and splintered. I'm just saying. I, and I, I know Cat personally. Let me let me yeah. let me quick story. Quick story. Go ahead. And Tell I know it. every time, and I just I heard you say something earlier. Is when somebody says something in that space with you and you're allowing them to tell their truth, you have no reason to think they're lying. Correct. But when I tell my stories, you have no reason to think I'm lying. Oh, I already know you lying. No, nah. oh, excuse me. <laughs> nah, stay, no, I, I promise you I'm not. Stay with me now. I know Cat Williams now. Cat Williams from Cincinnati. 
Cat Williams from yeah. Avondale. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams is from Avondale. I tell you no lie. I opened for Cat Williams in 2004. I told you I did comedy. You thought I was lying. I, I, I bullshit you not. I do comedy. I didn't say that you were lying about that. Well, I believe that. You did. You did. I, I told you, listen, out here at the improv, ask Benji Brown. Ask Benji Brown. When the first comic ever got booed at the improv in Coconut Grove on Tuesdays, I would finish the set. That's how good I was. So, boom. Revert. 2004. Cat Williams. <laughs> finance his own special. Stay with me now. Yeah. I, I, tell yeah. you, I tell you no lie. I lie for you before I lie to you. 2004. Cat Williams. Spons finance his own special at the Taft Theater in Cincinnati. Guess who opened mm -hmm. up for him? Huh? Your boy. He should have called me. Nah, you 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 ain't funny like that. I'm I'm real funny. So again, boom. Man, after oh, that, so we already had this discussion. We put listen, it to the chat. Okay, let me let me finish. Let me finish. So this is the unreleased. This is the unreleased special that nobody's even seen. Then I saw Cat again in 2006 at U.S. Bank Arena in October where he did some of the same material from that special Nobody Else Seen where I opened up. That's just to give you a little history and background on, on how I know Cat and how we go way back. And I'm also a comedian most of the time, but you be thinking I'm lying. But go ahead and finish finish, finish what you're going to say. Ocho, I don't know why you keep on thinking that. <laughs> I told you, the people already have told you. They what? already know I'm funnier than you, Ocho. I can really do this. No, 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 no. You're not funnier than me. You're not funnier than me. I'm funny, funny. Like, you funny? Listen, um, I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me take my glass off. You funny, but you ain't Ocho funny. There's a difference. There's a, I got range. I got range. You got you got range from one to four. I'm one to ten. Ocho. I can take it here, I can take it here, and I can take it there. You can't do Ocho. that. Ocho, Ocho. I've had actual comedians. I'm talking about said the entertainer. I'm talking about Ricky Smiley. I'm talking about uh, uh, DC Young Fly. I'm talking about guys that's come on the show. They told, I mean, Cedric the Entertainer told me in two, 2016, 2016, right. 17, right. when he came on the show, he said, man, you can do this. Hold on. They telling you you could do that because they have to tell you that because they own your show. I actually did it. I actually, did, nothing. It. No, I no, actually no, no. did it. Ocho. I did stand up. Put it up in the I chat. I did it. Put it up in the chat. I did 10 minutes. Up. I guarantee you I get more laughs than you in 10 minutes. Nah, no, you won't. I guarantee tell a, it. Tell a, tell a joke right now. I ain't going to tell no joke right now. Tell a joke right now. Me. Tell a joke right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, yeah. You know yeah. me, Joe. You, you I can't do hey, I'm going to do these jokes. I'm going to do these jokes where, where I'm safe because I already know the first joke I tell, they're going to yeah. be like, God damn, he said that. Nah, it's okay. No, it ain't okay. You, you I'm got good. people watching. No, I don't. Give me one joke. Give me one good joke. Give me one good joke. We got 53,000 in the chat. Oh, hey, they're watching. 53,000. <laughs> yeah. 53,000 53, people. You say you funny. Tell a joke right now. No, nah, I'm good. I, I Look here. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be commercialized. Right. I'm, com I'm commercial. I'm commercialized nah, nah. too. I, after I tell this joke, I ain't going to be commercialized. <laughs> well, it depends. See, that's, that's where the range come in. You got to be able to tell different jokes based on your audience and your demographic. I know. No, no, no. We got all kind of, in, in the, no, when, when I'm in a comedy, when I'm in a right. comedy, right. you already know you coming to get, it's comedy. Oh so yeah. I'm talking about everybody. All right. Well, let it fly right now. Talk about so me real you quick. Know, if, you got, if you got what, if you got one of them placards in your, in, in your rear view, I got yeah. you. I saw you. I saw you back in. You know what I'm saying? I saw you back in, Ocho. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. But anyway, hey, uh, Navenix noticed that in comedy, stealing material is like Popeyes stealing Chick Fil A sandwiches, uh -huh. wrapping them in pa Popeyes packages, and mm -hmm. selling them like they made them. I, I hear what you said, <laughs> but but look at Nike. Look at Adidas. Look at um. I I can I can go on and on. Brand do the same thing. Company do the same thing. Everybody does the same thing in the corporate world and it trickles over shit. Hell the NFL world. I just I just explained to you how teams are copycat throughout the league, throughout the season. They see they see plays that work on one team, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna steal that, change the formation, and run the same thing. Ocho, I think it, that's it, happen, a little it different. happens all the time. Ocho, stealing somebody material and then using it as if, if your own. That's like right. how you feel if somebody out there talking about my name Ocho Cinco. And everything that you do, they saying that's them. It ain't. It ain't gonna work though. Uh, yeah, yes, it is. It ain't. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Just think about. It, think about it. It's. It's only one Ocho. It's hey, only one Ocho. I tell you what. What shoe. What shoe company can use Air other than Nike? Let Adidas talk about they got Air. 
Nah, it Let wouldn't. Let Puma talk see, about they got air. See that? You see how that? Does, that you see how it don't make everywhere. sense? It, just, it, does, it don't make sense though, because when when you hear the word Air Jordan, the first thing that comes to mind is Michael and Nike. That ain't that ain't got nothing to do with it. You said you said imitation is the highest form of flattery. Flattery. So Nike should Nike should be honored that a shoe company is using the is is, is, is property right uh, intellectual property that right, they're right, infringing. Right. That's patented. Right. So they should be okay like, uh, yeah, we cool with that, man. Thank y'all for stealing our property and yeah. making 20 billion off right. of it. Not, I, 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 totally, I totally understand. I totally understand. Listen, on Twitter, I steal people's tweets. Yeah. I steal people's tweets because hey, it'd be funny and I like it. You you and I both know John Geiger. Oh, that's my guy. I love John. I love, I love did, his stuff. When, they, when he started replicating them shoes, what did Nike do? He, he won that lawsuit too, I think. I think he won that. I, I don't know the, the, the logistics of, of, of what happened, but he still mm -hmm. makes it. He still makes it. But the silhouette, the silhouette of it. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I know exactly. Yes. Oh, matter of fact, I, I, got, I got a joke for you real quick. Let me get one. Man, I just, I'm going to show, show you how funny I am. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hey, chat, y'all ready? Yeah, we watch ready. How, watch how funny this is. You ready? Yeah. What do you call a well-balanced horse? A well balanced horse. A well balanced horse. A hobby horse. No. A pommel horse. Stable. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see this. Ocho, we got 9,000 votes. Who do you believe is funnier? Uncle Ocho. And with 69% of the votes, 61% of the votes. Hey, hey, man, they lying, man. They lying. They lying. I know they lying. Not after that good joke I just told. <laughs> Let me okay. This is what Nikki said. Two things can be true. What Kat said about them is true. Doesn't mean we won't enjoy them as entertainers. Yeah. We just know their yeah. integrity is questionable. Ocho, you mm. can't speak to on a man then feel some type of way when he responds. That's what Nikki said. You are right? Ten thousand votes now. This is what he said. He also has something to say. We're gonna tee this up. This is what uh, Cat Williams said about Martin Lawrence. Let's cue the sound. Mm -hmm. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Kat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word. My mm. nigga, go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know, we get in that office and this fool pull out. Big Mama's house, too. Mm. I almost died. And I got to read this script from all these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. Twice I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real niggas. And that's how I got in this position. And if I if I'm not mistaken, and Chad, you could correct me if I'm wrong. I think Brandon T. Jackson said he regrets playing that role. If I'm not mistaken, Chad, pull that up. Maybe I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'm going to apologize. But I could, I think I read that somewhere. Wait, he said he regret playing the role B because he was the cop uh, opposite, right, of uh, Martin and Big Martin. Mamas too. Why? Why would he regret? Why would he regret playing a role? Is there? Is there? A he reason said. Behind he it? said he regrets it because his career went downhill after that. So he Nothing thinks his, his career went downhill because of the role I, he played in the movie. Ocho, all I can go by is what someone says. Ocho, see, here's the thing: if yeah. somebody tells Ocho, if Rail tells you, "Oh, baby, that hurt my feelings," mm. you don't get to then say, "Well, I don't know why it hurt your feelings." She just told you. You right? Yeah. Yeah. So he said, now whether it can be true or not, but you can only go by what your feelings are. He mm -hmm. believed that has something to do with his career not going in the direction that he believed it should have. That's him. That's his. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't understand that when you're really good at something, when you're really good at something. And obviously, I'm not an actor. I've done some acting, though. But when you're really good at something and if you're really, really good at it, as good as you think you are, there's no role. Oh, absolutely. Can, is. That, absolutely. That, where, where you can be denied if you're good at your craft. There's a there's a reason why some Denzel tells the story about how he turned down a role uh -huh. and it was supposed to be a role that he was like, uh, he said the N word that would never die. They tried to electrocute him. They tried to hang him. Right. And he said, no, nah, I'm good with that. OK, well, oh, there's certain, there's role, certain things, there's certain things that aren't suicide. for you, though. There's certain things that aren't for you. But, but Denzel's, you Denzel's skill and ability to act with his range won't deny him any other any other jobs after that. But here's the thing. We don't know had he taken that role. Right. Sometimes you can take a role. It's right. like coaching. Sometimes you take a job just because it's a head coaching job and yeah. you never get an opportunity again mm. because right. of what transpired there. OK, I, I see where you're going with it. Obviously, yeah. you know, I don't know much about that space. I don't know much about that, about the acting space. I just I, I'm thinking when you're really good at something, you can't be denied because you're good at that specific craft or whatever it is you do, especially the art, the art of acting. He even uh cat even had something to say about ludicrous. We got that sound. Wait. Uh, Luda here, Luda? Yeah, I here, saw Luda, Luda, here, Luda responded. Yeah, let's let's talk to the video. That's Luda's retort to what Cat said Ooh. in the interview. That was nice. Oh, you know, hey, Luda don't get the love and respect that he deserves because he's a lyric well, lyricist. A lyr lyricist. And, and, and his flow is impeccable. Always, whether yeah. he on his own or he on a feature. He could go. Luda hey. gonna give you that work. So don't hey, play know, with that man. You know I can rap too now. Oh my goodness. What Chris Christmas so weird. We don't need anything else rap. Nah, I'm I'm just saying this is my own. My I'll, I'm gonna give you one. Let me give you one bar. What kind of bar? You, I'm gonna give you one bar. You, you ready? What you, want, what you want to drink? I get. I got a bar right back here. What you need? Nah, listen. Let me just give me. I'm gonna give. You, I'm gonna give you one bar real quick. Okay. My grandmother was blind, and I had to read in braille. Every time I think about it, it was a touching story. You get it? No. No, I, I get what you're trying to go My with. My grandmother it. was blind. Yeah, I, and get, I had yeah, to read yeah. in Braille. It was and a that, touching story. Yeah, you know what? You get told that scheme. story about your grandma before you make me in Braille. Mean. Next time you wake up, you gonna be in hell. You don't Ooh. make fun. I don't know. So, oh, see, I don't want to give you this flow. I like that. I like I, that. Hey, I got, I got that, I got that from Twerk. Twerk, I appreciate you, baby. I just, I just use your line. See, imitation. Yeah, it's the purest form of flattery. Twerk. Yeah. It, hey, that was nice. Um, bring that back one more time. Bring that I back ain't one more it up time. Back. Ocho, fan question. Uh, Ocho, the wrong role, the wrong role can railroad your career. The same as the wrong song album can kill your career as a singer rapper. Listen, in acting, if you ain't that boy, you right here turning down roles. It ain't like role just be right. They, no, they no, ain't but, just but coming I'm at saying, you like here's that. The now. Thing. You might be good and take right. the wrong road and right. it derails you. It's okay. kind of like a quarterback going to the wrong team. We Ooh. see guys go, oh, like my dude Zach, like Zach Wilson. Yeah. And you know what? I never thought about it like that. I never right. thought about it like that. Not not as you you opened my eyes, and the people in the chat are obviously opening my eyes when it comes to those that are acting, those that are in that field. I'm thinking, you know, shit. If you're good and you're really good at what you do, you will always have opportunities. And the role you the role you take, it shouldn't divert what it is you trying to do or where you trying to go and getting more what's the what's the what's the the old adage you never mm. get a second chance to make a first impression hey hey i like that I that's like that. why because okay ocho we do this we bomb how do we reinvent it to come back for people mm. to come back and watch again they like right. we already heard that right we already saw that. We good. Right, right. You get one chance to get it mm -hmm. right. Right. Especially when you're dealing, you're dealing with, it's not like, look, we got family and friends who watch us regardless. Mm -hmm. But we're asking people that have really no connection, no affiliation to us. Right. To tune in, mm -hmm. listen to what we have to say, right. be educated, be entertained, and to come back once, twice, three, four times a week. Right. And you know what, by the way, check out your favorite uncle on Club Shay Shay. That's mm. what we're asking.
Yeah. You got to give, and you don't get a second chance at that. People are unforgiving. Have a bad meal at a restaurant. How many times you have a bad meal? They're like, well, that, you know, it was just bad this time. They're like, no, nah, I'm good. Right. I, I got one more question, Unc. Sure. I mean, in the chat, Chad, I need y'all to help me out. Let, listen, listen to me real quick. I understand Hollywood in a sense. I understand acting in a sense. I've, I've heard the frustrations and the gripes from many of people throughout the years in general, how hard it is to get roles, how hard it is to get jobs. So when you say you don't want to take certain roles, like so many opportunities are being presented to you to be able to turn down roles, how do they navigate in that area, in that field, and in that space when it's already hard to get roles and you have to turn stuff down because of what it might be and it might derail your career when you can't even get your career off the goddamn ground because you're turning shit down because you're not getting enough opportunity to begin with. A, that, that's like the this. part that's confusing me a little bit. Well, let me let me enlighten your eyes. How much money you think I can make if I were to say my people, my community, right. it's our fault, all of our fault that we're in this position and take some of the approaches that we've seen other people take. Mm-hmm. They'll write me. A, they'll write me a check as big as, as as big as as long as the Hollywood sign. Yes, sir. I refused right to compromise anything because at the end of the day, I got to lay down with me. Mm. Money, money don't make me. I make it right. All money ain't good money because mm. at the end of the day, now I'm not saying that anything that can't said about these people because I don't know these people. I don't have in, I don't have knowledge of what he said. He says he has information. Okay. Mm. But at the end of the day, Ocho, I prepare as well as I can. Right. And I'm not always right when it comes to predicting the score. But I can honestly say when I critique a player, there's no malicious intent involved. Right. I've done as much research as I possibly can on a given topic. Mm -hmm. You see, Ocho, and people like, well, Shadow, you go back and look at my interviews when I interviewed players and I was with CBS. Mm -hmm. Now I have factual information. Right. Stats, yards, plays, situation that in which you said you did this. Well, well, that's not what happened here. Right. So what's so I can refute. Mm -hmm. He's telling me one thing. They're telling me something else. When I was need, I was neither place. So right. the best thing for me is to stay out of it. And I'm gonna let the people that watch this video, I'm gonna let them decide. Mm. You see, someone said, Chad, you were really good at football, but how important is perceived your antics kept you out of the Hall of Fame? See, perception, see, perception is a person's reality. But this but is, this, this is, see, I, I like that. I like what they just said. If I cared about actually being there, I would conduct myself in a manner to achieve that goal. But that was one that I didn't care about, which is why I put on my own jacket. So you have to understand who I am first as an individual and know that I don't care, or I wouldn't have played the game the way I did. I like where they I, went with that, though. I like that. That was that was dope. That I, was dope. I don't think I could be wrong, but I don't mm. think anybody comes into the NFL thinking about the Hall of Fame. A I mean, maybe thinking about hey, in, winning hey, MVP. Hold on, Unc. You know what it took to get there? Right. Wait. Let me take my let me take my glasses off. You don't know my whole story. Do you understand what it took to even get there? Yes. Forget the mother. Forget the goddamn gold jacket. You know your story. Mm -hmm. I know your story. My ch the chat knows your story. I think those that have followed my career, you understand the obstacles, the four schools I had to go through, being a one for one, going to Oregon State, making it, making it to Cincinnati. Man, listen, it was hell just getting there. You think once I got there, I'm going to change the way I play the game because I have an opportunity to wear a gold jacket? I don't care about that shit. Excuse me, no disrespect. It's one of the highest achievements and one of the best accolades you can receive as an NFL player. But it's just something that I didn't care about, and I conducted myself and played the game the way I felt it should be played. That's all. That, that, that's all. So I, I like what I like what the person just said, but I was one that didn't really care about it. I didn't really need the validation, but it, 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 was, it was cool. I, I understood what came with that. Go Josh Hansen. Man, that was, a, man, that was a good one, huh? That was a good one. This uh, 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 fan asked, he said, go, go Josh, uh, I think it's go Josh Hans. Ocho, just imagine you spent two years working on something until it's perfect. Uh, it is. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, go Josh and Ocho, you've been rich too long. Imagine if you got an A on a test, someone comes and races your name and put their name at the top. No, it ain't. And they get the A and don't mention you. Shh. 
Now, now, see, that's a problem. That's a problem. And I think that's the issue with Cat because the jokes that's are being plagiar- stolen and, and everything. Yeah, everything taken off. And I think that's right. that's 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 where the problem lies. Uh, Jerry Lee said, "Unk, phenomenal interview with Cat. You did amazing." Ocho, were your thoughts on Cat standing on business with Bernie Mac towards the end of comedy? Uh, if any, R.I.P. Bernie. He holds Bernie. He holds Bernie in very high regard. Yeah. He said that he had an opportunity to be. Uh, once Bernie left, another uh, uh, the king of comedy that replaced Bernie. Right. He said, "Nah." After they pooped on Bernie, right? He's like, "Nah, y'all wait, ain't gonna do what y'all whoa. did to Bernie." I need um, better context. You said they 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 shit on Bernie. Well, the story is I don't know if it's true or not, but right. they said Bernie would Bernie. The, from what I, from what I've been able to deduce, I guess Steve said they were all supposed to alternate. Right, but Steve ended up going last. Nobody wanted to follow Bernie because it's kind of like you know, hey, it's kind of like if you're in a talent show and you go behind right. a kid or an animal. Right. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I see. So you're going. now I see Bernie you're going. is Bernie. You got to follow Bernie. Right. Steve. So that, that, that's I a hard. That's a, that's that's a hard act to follow behind. Right. Right. Okay, so okay, Steve okay, okay. is saying, I wanted to be in the rocking chair. Which means I went, I went third, and Bernie. Oh, we flip it up. Say it go last. DL right. go last. Right. But, but, Cat was saying, Steve, it's your tour. So if it's your tour, you're supposed to. If you, well, so if yeah, you're the headliner, he's the headliner. You go he got to go last. Right. Right. But that's not what Steve said. Steve said it was agreed upon that everybody was gonna go. You know, hey, we're gonna rotate it. Right. So. You okay, I see what you and he mean. said, I, I and Cat see, said, "Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Y'all right. did what y'all did to Bernie, right? Um, so okay, screw y'all. Damn, goddamn Bernie, boy. Bernie, Bernie was funny, boy. Goddamn. Um, oh, you Bernie, Bernie, you saw. Oh, and, 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 and what's it called? And um, and uh, school. And uh, what's that movie? House Party. Oh man, listen. House Party Friday. Man, Bernie oh, was yeah. funny, man. I'm talking about yeah. the old comic, the old comic view. Um, yeah. Yeah, all them. That's that's let's see. That's where all them the all the guys that you see the Bruce Bruce's the earthquakes all those guys. Def yeah, Comedy man. Jam, Bru- uh, 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 Comic View. Yeah, hey, uh, them boy, them boys, funny man. Listen, Unc, I I know we, we talking about Cat, we talk about Sid and all that man. You have the power, man, to 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 bring the band back together, man. They don't they don't need they don't need to be that just. Is an easy way to get that nucleus back together, man. I'm telling you, we are more powerful as one, as opposed to the bickering and bantering. And, and and you took this and you took that. I didn't take that. I didn't take. I'm telling you, man. And just li- just lift each other up. I mean, we 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 always in situations like this. This is just a a small instance to to, to one of the cases in which we always are going against each other instead of coming together and finding a way and resolving the issues to keep on climbing that ladder. Augustus plays says Ocho fire Ocho after that rapper tent. What? Yeah, man, you somebody he tripping. I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got an album on iTunes right now. Man, don't play with me. You tripping? <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Evans says, "Hey y'all, Unc, make sure you send Cat a bottle of Portier." Actually, he took a bottle with him because we actually had a bottle already open that we're supposed to pour. He mm-hmm. opened a brand new bottle. Said, "No, that's your bottle. This is my bottle." And he took the bottle with him, but we do have his address and we are going to send him something because he said, this is going to be your biggest. He said, nobody's ever going to do an episode bigger than this one. So he knew what he had done. And I appreciate that cat. Uh, Mike Evans says, Hey y'all, Unk, make sure you send cat a, a, a Laportier gift box for the streams. Also hope you know, you can only have Dave Chappelle, uh, Eddie Griffin or DL as the next comedians. Were you uncomfortable? It's kind of like anything when when someone is saying something about someone you know. I know Steve. I've talked to Steve on the phone. Mm-hmm. I have said phone number in my in my cell phone. I have uh, 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 Kevin Hart number in my cell phone. I have Ricky Smiley number in yeah. my cell phone. Same, same, same. So yeah, I mean, I just felt the best thing for me to do in that situation because if I stand up now, I'm taking a side. I will, I'm okay. going to do something I've never done before in 101 episodes, mm-hmm. and that's take a side. Yeah, yeah. you got to play the fence. 
you, you got to play the fence. I'm swizzling. I'm yeah, neutral. You got to play the fence. Yeah. At the end of the day, however many people will watch the video and the clips, y'all decide. Right. You agree with what he's saying. You don't agree with what he's saying. You like what he said. You don't mm -hmm. like what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Those guys are still cool. I'm still cool. I'm still yeah. cool with everybody that he mentioned. I'm still cool. You know who you got to get? Who? And if you if you can't get him, I text him for you. You got to get you got to get Dave Chappelle. I mean, since we're on the topic of comedians and some of the greats, you got to get Dave Chappelle. Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, bro. You do realize it's not people like, well, get this person, get that person. Y'all do realize like a lot of these names that you guys have mentioned, we've reached out to. Oh, well, I mean, you, I can. Oh, I can. Listen, I can cut out the middleman. I'm going straight. I'm going straight to the horse. I ain't got time to be talking to assistants and all that other bullshit. Now, if you want Dave, you let me know. I call. I call Dave right now. No, we do. We 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 talk about it. Okay, now, let me know. Was, let me know now. That. We we a team. We we a team. Uh, Unks, uh, Danny uh, Lepsis says, uh, when you took those extra sips of cognac after Cat dropped them bombshells, what was going through your mind at the time? The same thing that's going through your mind when you heard it. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm right there. Again, he's talking about people that I that I that I know, and I'm not saying I know them like I know Bucket or I know Burns, but I've had conversations with them. And so it was it was different hearing mm. I a lot of the stuff I had never heard before. I've heard some of it, but and like I said, I'm just like, I'm cool with him. I'm cool with Cat. Cat said what he said. Mm -hmm. And but at the end of the day, I need the people that's watching mm -hmm. that watched it, downloaded, heard it, wherever you heard it from, wherever you got it from, you make your decision. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's not that's not. Rodney Dink has asked my homeboy, Unk, did you get any feedback from said Steve or Ricky? No, I have not heard from any of them as of yet. I did talk to Quake. Earthquake hit me up like he normally does. Yeah. And uh, we had a great conversation. But that's I don't, it. I don't, I don't think they're going to say nothing. I don't think they're going to say nothing. You know, those that responded, they said they love peace. I mean, it's it's early. I mean, we in the fourth day of the new year, man. <laughs> we 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 in the fourth day of the new year and and you had a Hiroshima type interview. Basically that's that's what that was. You had a Hiroshima type interview. Yeah. And I don't I don't I'm I'm not sure if, with what they have going on if they want to continue to give it legs because right now it's 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 in a world of its own. I and I guarantee by the time probably what what's the day? It ain't even it ain't even been 48 hours yet, huh? No. It'll be 40 it'll be 48 hours tomorrow at uh, 9 9 a.m. Listen, by the time we do the show Saturday, you might be at 20 million. Yeah, for sure. You might be for at sure. 20 million. I mean, we're pretty maybe, close. Matter, we're pretty close fact, to 11 maybe, million right now. Maybe 30. We're pretty close to 11 million right now. Man, that's crazy, man. Yeah. That's, that's good work. Yeah, man. That's good work. But I know one thing. If we could bring them all, we could bring all them boys together, man, like the 12 disciples and have a nice sit down and you be the moderator, that'd be even bigger. <laughs> that'd get 100 million. Uh, Byron Joe David, every, everyone has a response, but no one is denying what was said. Mm. Mm. Uh, Jonathan Scott asked, Hey, um, what were you thinking when Kat said he, he had less to drink than you? <laughs> the look on your face was priceless because that wasn't true. <laughs> he started way, he started way before that interview. Trust me. <laughs> I promise you that. And like he said, you could ask anybody on the set. <laughs> that was there. <laughs> uh, Laney Ray, welcome back, Laney Ray. That cat interview was uh, was fire. Shannon, who has the number who who is the number one person on your list to interview that you haven't yet? LeBron. In this order, LeBron, Dave Chappelle, President Obama. Wait, Oprah. You, you I could, man, I told well, you gotta you gotta talk to me, man. You naming people in the in my contact. I call Obama right now. I bet he answer. Watch this. Hold on. I'm gonna put it on speaker. That man ain't answer your call. Yeah, man, I got Obama number. It's Obama. Disconnected. What's up? 
Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, Obama. Uh, Shannon. Shannon Sharp said he, he want to interview you. Okay, all right. I'm 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 gonna pass me your information. All right, bet. Yes, sir. First of all, first of all, Ocho, I told I told you. It's very disrespectful. You, you, <laughs> hey, you do. I I got connections, man. I'm not saying that you don't have connections. I just I just talked to Obama when you address. A city, a former president. No, no, that ain't state. nah. That's 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 that TV shit. Me and Obama no, ain't like that. No, it's always me, president. Me him, we don't talk like that. We don't talk like that. Me and <laughs> we, me and Obama go back <laughs> in Chicago. You know, I used to be a GD. I don't I don't bang no more. But I used to be a GD. Obama was GD with me. But boom, then he went into politics. Yeah, you need to be, you was a GDF. A yeah, gosh darn fool. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so boom, and you know, we went separate. We went down two different paths. He went boom. politics. Presidential route. I won football, but I man, uh, I got I, some of the people you know. I could call Oprah too. You know who I want? You know who I want to get? Who? Kim Kardashian. Man, let me call Rob right now. Let me stop. Nah, me you stop ain't gonna call nobody. Hey, so I got. Let's see. I, I said got LeBron, the resources now. LeBron, who I said LeBron, Chappelle, President Obama, Oprah, Kim Kardashian. I got some other. I got some other people, but I don't want to know because I don't want y'all to try to get try to swipe them from under me. Nah, because I've been listen. able. Are uh, uh, the people that do this that's in our space? Right. I think I've I think I've landed landed some of the biggest in the. But best. you got to understand, you are the hot ticket right now. So people are going to be willing to come to you as opposed and no disrespect to any other spaces because all the other spaces are doing phenomenally well. I watch the other spaces as well. People that have shows going on, I salute all of you, but I'm just saying particularly about the people that you want to get, I think they'll be more inclined to come because you are a safe space. I'm not saying that the other spaces aren't, but you're a safe place and it, it, it is perfect. All right, listen, I already put the word in with Obama. So you, once you get that, you already know what it is. Oh yeah, for sure. Maybe maybe around the time for the uh, uh, election, and we're gonna try to you know drum up some support, hey, get people out. I like we'll that. see what happens. Uh, uh, conscious flow state. What do you think when he went there about Kanye and Kim Kardashian? I forget what did he say about Kanye and Kim. Oh, I, about the mentally, mentally, why do we always get all up in arms about some of the stuff that Kanye does when we already say he's mentally ill? So what are you no. expecting from him if he's someone right. where you say, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. That's, 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 that's tough. That's, that's touchy. That's touchy. No, I want to have, I want to, I want Kim to come on my podcast because I want to know, I want to pick up brain. Cause look from here, a, bro. From, hey, from a, from a business aspect. Bi absolutely. Ooh, real deal. Real absolutely. deal. Absolutely. Cali X Wayne says, maybe um, you can host a comedy feature feature. All these guys, Shay Shay's comedy corner. Man, I ain't got no deep. Hey, you know what? They go some hey, I'm gonna need like a financial institution to, to, to spot me some money. Cause considering what Kevin Hart gets, what Quake get, what all mm -hmm. these guys get, it goes, and then I gotta get Cat to agree to it. Oh, he gonna he gonna say yeah. He gonna say yeah, cause money. money I mean, oh wait, I'm not gonna say money talk because integrity integrity comes first. Yeah. But how much? How much you need? We can go half on it. Man, you crazy. Man, could you imagine Shay Shay comedy special? Yeah, with I all can them imagine. boys. Mm hmm. I can get. Like I, I said, get the, I can get the money. I, hey, well, I, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna try to drum up money too. Well, let's go half. No, 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 Ocho. Let, how about we get? How about we get somebody to sponsor it? My, man, listen, the sponsor gonna come out the blue once they know it's, it's me and you. And then once we, Kevin gonna do it, I know Kev. I can call Kev. You know what? I ain't gonna do oh. that. Anymore. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. The chat is focused on what Cat called Kim. Look, I don't agree with what he's saying. He's entitled. Look, he's entitled to his opinion. I've allowed everybody to come on my space on, on that on that on, on Club Shay Shay. Give his or her take and keep it moving. If yeah. that's the way he feels, mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. You don't you don't have to address everything somebody say. Every every little detail. It's just it's, we, we we all are gonna have we all are going to have opinions about other people's personal lives and the way they conduct themselves and the way they move. I mean that's that's neither here nor there. 
and that's pretty much it. Yeah. It ain't, uh, it ain't, it ain't for everybody. Uh, uh, brother Antonio Robinson said, Uncle 84, what specific thing that Kat said that stayed in your head a little longer than everything else? Hell, everything. I mean, you got to think about it. The man left home at 13. Went out on his own at 13 with a Rottweiler puppy and went to a truck stop and hitchhiked. And hitchhiked. Mm. He didn't call it that, but that's what it was. When you hop a ride with somebody that you don't know, it's yeah. hitchhiking. Yeah. He's like, I asked this guy, where are you going? He's going to California. This guy was going to Florida. I was getting as far away as I possibly could from snow. Mm. And Florida was, a, was, was far, but it wasn't as far as California. Yeah. I hopped in the back and I took off. So you just think about it. You're 13 years of age and you go, you ain't going down the street, Ocho. Right, right. You ain't right. going to your aunts or your grandmothers. Yeah. You that's, going. That's tough. Yes. So you got to, you got to grow up real fast now. Yes. You got to grow up real fast. Yes. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I think for me, a lot of that, uh, I mean, two hours and 46 minutes, there's a lot. Mm. And a lot of it's that I'm still processing because I'm like, wow. He has a very interesting life, but he has a very complicated life. Right, right. Um, Dump for show, BET used, used to be like this 20 years ago. We want Denzel and Monique on. Uh, that was something that I'm working on. Um, mm. I know Denzel Wait. a little bit. I don't know Monique, um, but I think she'd be great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely, that's someone that I would love to sit down hey. with. I think she has a very interesting story. Uh, I saw her in Precious. She reminds mm -hmm. me a lot of my aunt, Mary yeah. Nell. I mean, the, mm -hmm. um, the way she looked, her mannerisms. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's definitely someone I would love to have on the, on the pod. That, that, that would be a good one. Monique would be a good one. That would be a very good one. Denzel would also be a very good one. Oh, for sure. Samuel Jackson, any of them. Um, you Ooh, know. What, boy, Sam. Woo! Uh, the straight... Achia donated and he said, Love what you've been doing, Unc. Shout out to you, Ocho. Ocho, if you took them shaves off, we would we have to open our eyes and enlighten them. Love y'all. We have to open your eyes, enlighten them. They're trying to say they're trying to enlighten you to what's going on about, you know, the plagiarism and the stealing of jokes and some I, of the I, things. Yeah, that I, I heard I heard him clear as day and I also gave some examples based on the plagiarism that's going on outside of just comedy. I I, I got you. I got you. I like uh, Laura Sterling said somebody gave Ocho a Dos Equis for being the most interesting man in the world. Yeah, yeah. Could possibly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Might as well. Might as well. Nah, Jabari I don't said, no, I don't want no Dos Equis. I want La Portiere. <laughs> huh? You got to say it like that. La Portiere. Uh, Jabari said, this is proud of with Rail. Unc and Ocho, both of you go to Magic City. Who's pulling more? Who got more game? Maybe. You heard, you heard what they asked me? So if I go to Magic City, who finna, who finna pull more? They call me Parker Brothers. Name Not somebody who? got more games than Parker Brothers. Look at her. She Name somebody about, got more games than Parker Brothers. She talking about not my black ass. <laughs> I don't want, oh, what? Oh, she's talking about we going to the Magic City Classic. <laughs> Fact. Fam, you, you say that's Jackson, the, hey, she say that's the only magic city I'm going to. Darrell, you promised. You say we could go. Oh, oh, she did promise. Yes. Oh man, we out, man. We out, man. Listen, I don't know why she even. Guess who wear the pants in here? Rail. Come on, man. Do they that. say you wear the pants, but they fit rail. So I'm saying rail wear the pants. Nah, don't do that. Don't do me like that. <laughs> you <laughs> rail wear. She the breadwinner. Whoever make the money, make the rule. Wait, since when? Where, where's that written since at? The since the beginning of the time. That's what the man been saying. I what pay man? the bills in here. I work hard every day. You sit around and watch the kids. You don't run nothing but your mouth. And then you run around the house and talk about you run the house. That's real house. And you better hush. You better stop talking so loud for real hear you and boot you out. She's that. She's. She, she's sitting right here. But listen, this is my household. I run the household. Now, you run around I, it. I don't pay the bills. I'm a stay-at-home father. That is what I am. I'm a stay-at-home father. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This is this is one of my jobs. You, you're I, about to be an out-of-the-house father. Who? You. 
I don't have no problem. I'll take me and these kids and we'll be gone. We, I'm nah, good. you ain't taking no kids. Sheep. I'm on rail side. How you <laughs> how you gonna just throw throw me to the waist, throw me under the bus like that, man? Hey, listen, I'll be in LA, I'll come stay with you. Hey, you know what? And I'm telling all I'm turning all the financial documents over to Rail and her representative to see what you actually getting from us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, that ain't funny. <laughs> yeah, real Kiki, you think ha 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 ha. Jane right. Bishop said, "Hey, Uncle eighty five, just want to let you know that I view both of you as my role models. I'm getting ready to graduate college and hope only to be as half as successful as you guys. Nah, you got to do better than that because we paved the way. Yeah. You know things. You get an opportunity to know things and to see things that we had to find out firsthand. Mm -hmm. You get an opportunity." Uh, the old saying is a wise man will learn from other mistakes. A fool will learn from his own. Why would you ever make the same mistakes that Ocho and I yeah. have made? Yeah. When we've yeah. laid out a blueprint of mm -hmm. how, how to navigate and not make the same mistakes. Yeah. Now you might, you're going to make some mistakes, but the mistakes that he and I made, you should be, you should be absolved from those. You should be able to avoid those. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most uh, definitely. Jonathan Scott. Hey, um, What's something Kat said that surprised you most? And you having Jay-Z in the club would be epic. That would be. Um, oh. Man, I'm surprised by all of it. I mean, bro, it's 2 hours and 46 minutes. What did he say that didn't surprise you? I don't try. Look, I live in L.A., but I don't travel in those circles. I've never been to, went to any of those parties where allegedly some of this stuff takes place. So I'm surprised. I'm as surprised as you guys are. I know nothing about this. What will be happening at the parties? Man, they, I guess Vegas ain't the only place that, you know, what stays in Vegas. I guess what stays in some of these parties, you know, he had something to say. He's had something to say about P. Diddy. I'm sure. And look, I mean, look, you guys heard it. I mean, by now, almost 11 million people. Uh, have seen it on Club Shay Shay. Right. I see other people have listed it in, in clips of it. So pretty much by now, probably 50, 60 million people have heard some portion of it. So I'm I'm as surprised as, as, as anybody else. And I just the only difference is I happen to hear it live. I'm the one that's asking the questions. So again, Ocho, when I go down, when I right. go sit down. And talk to a person, have a conversation. Look, I know, I know y'all talking about the chop shadow. He go down. When I sit down and have a conversation with a person, mm -hmm. what I'm actually trying to do is mm -hmm. ask questions that I believe the listeners would ask if they were sitting there. Right. That's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, in two hours and forty six minutes, I got to cover a a, a, a vast range of subjects, mm -hmm. topics, and that you like. Okay, yeah. If I could have had an opportunity to ask Cat. I would ask him that too. Right. Oh yeah, you know what, man? Oh man, you'll be on it. You'll be. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. That's what I try to do because right. at at that point in time, I take I remove myself, and I'm a fan, mm. and so I'm asking questions that I believe my audience would want to know. Right. So I always keep that in the back of my mind. Yeah, I have questions I want to know, and I'm gonna ask. But I like to think that that CJ and I have come up with topics. Mm -hmm. And questions that our fans would like to know, right? And so that's that's kind of the way I approach it. And so uh, hopefully, mm. people and I look, Ocho, the way I look at it at this point in time, and I ain't even close to what Jesus was, and they hated him, and they ended up <laughs> they 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 killed it. So yeah. do I think that do I think that everybody was going to be happy with with the interview? No, no, absolutely not. And Definitely I'm okay not. with that. Yeah, you can't please but everybody. You no, can't please everybody. And so for me, Ocho, I think, uh, I think because so many people are happy and pleased mm -hmm. with it, the ones that's not, I don't. Right. Well, you reach out to him and see if he can come come there on your podcast and you ask him all the questions that you want to ask. Yeah. Let me see how that work out for you. It ain't gonna happen. Ricardo Hernandez says. Have you guys ever thought about joining the WWE? Uh, feel like uh, with a crazy, uh, cut crazy promos. Don't know about Ocho. Now, look, I, I I wanted to be a wrestler growing up because, like I said, it was wrestling originated in the South. 
And so it was very, very, when I was a kid in the, coming up in the 70s, yeah. wrestling was huge. But wrestling was mainly regional. Like I said, you had Georgia Championship Wrestling. You had Florida Championship Wrestling. Mm-hmm. You had Mid-Atlantic. Midwest. So, you know, and you, you know, you had the pockets. And mm-hmm. my grandfather was a big wrestling fan. My, you couldn't tell my gra- my grandfather put people out of his house because they told my Barney, you know that's fake. Right. And my grandfather said, get the hell up out of my house. Right, 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 right. So right. we was going to I mean, Savannah. We would go to Vidalia. We would go to Baxley, Georgia. By, these little small towns, they would even come to, to Glenville mm-hmm. and see, and that we would see wrestlers that we saw on television where Gordon Soley was the host. He's the great, look, there have been a lot of, there are a lot of uh, uh, great hosts, but it starts and stops with Gordon Soley. Mm. And so I saw Pac song, Mr. Wrestling number two, Mr. Wrestling mm. number one. I saw all those guys, Junkyard Dog, Bobo Brazil. You Andre know about Jack, Junkyard Dog, man. Uh, uh, Dusty Rose, the American Dream. Dusty yeah. Rose. What, uh, you know, hey, a, what you know about Jimmy Superfly Snooker? You, see, he came later. Crusher yeah. Blackwell. See, if, if you really know wrestling, you know about mm. Crusher Blackwell. Yeah. And I know about Black Jack Mulligan and Baron yeah. Von Raschke. All yeah. those guys, Abdullah the Butcher. I see. I go way, way back. Yeah, with wrestling. Not I mean, look, and that's not no. And and Ric Flair came after after that, but he. I think he said he got a couple of years in Georgia Championship Wrestling. I don't remember now with that interview. But this was before, before Hulk Hogan, before all those guys that we're talking. And then it, it translated, <laughs> and you had Ric Flair and Greg Valentine with his yeah. partner, and they had Tully Blanchard, and they had Gene and Arn Anderson. You know, uh, mm-hmm. the Four Horsemen, all them guys. Uh, Black Jack Mulligan, Baron Von Rasky, uh, Brute Bernard, Ox Baker. Ocho, I go back. Mm-hmm. The Fabulous Freebirds. Yeah, wow. I go way, way back with all right. them. When they had That's Tony dope. Atlas and, 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 and uh, 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 The Rock's dad. Yeah. That's throwback. Yes. That, that's, so that's throwback, these people throwback. talk about, oh, listen. Ocho, I tell people like this here. This is, and, and here's the thing. I don't know everything. I know a little bit about everything, but right. what I do know, I know a hell of a lot about a hell of a lot. Right. So all that, all that other stuff that they be talking. Yeah, bro. When it comes to wrestling, you talk about NASCAR. Yeah. I go back to Walt, Daryl Waltrip, Harry Gant, all them Neil Bonnet. Right. Yes. Bill Elliott, awesome Bill from Dawson Bill. Yes. I go way back with them. The silver Fox, David Pearson. The uh the Allison boys, Bobby and Donnie, yes. Okay. I see you. Yeah, a- absolutely. When Richard Petty won, when I think who's that crash? Was that Kale Yarborough and uh and Walt? Who was that crash and, and on, Richard Petty won? They they would let each other pass on the last on the last on the last lap. On the last lap. I think on that might have been lap. 79. Yeah. Bro, so all this, you know, yeah, I know Jeff Gordon. I've met Jeff Gordon. I met uh mm-hmm. uh uh Jimmy Johnson. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about I go way back when when uh, the Woods brothers was was the team and the Johnson. Yeah. Yes, I go way yeah. back like that. Yes, everybody know Richard Petty, but that's easy. But I know about the Skull Bandit and the Tide Car and when mm. and and uh, 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 when when uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt drove the Wrangler car. Yeah, that Monte Carlo Wrangler. Yes, I go back. back like that. So back. stop playing with me. So y'all, <laughs> when y'all talk about sport, oh, you don't know bull jive. So if you know I know NASCAR, like right. I said, we used to watch the Daytona 500, me, my brother, and sister, every year that it came on. Mm-hmm. So when y'all talk about sports, ain't nobody seeing me. With my knowledge on sports, I'm talking about just, I'm like football. Somebody might know more football than me. Somebody might know more basketball than me. But I'm going to put you to the test. We're going to mm-hmm. talk about bull riding. We're going to talk about NASCAR. We'll talk yeah. about wrestling. We'll talk about the Tour de France. We'll talk about whatever. we talk yeah. about tennis, men's and women, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Come see me. Come see me. I like it. I like it. Maybe so, I'm hungry. <laughs> she said, you want this on a plate? Oh, man, my bad. My bad, Ocho. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. My bad. I'm just, man, hold on. Hey, Uncle Ocho, uh, 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 hey. how did Henny and Blacks come about on Undisputed? Also, will you guys, will you guys do a show in person? We're gonna do a show in Vegas. Uh, that's gonna be the the live show that we do. Hold on, are so we, we we greenlit for Vegas already? We greenlit. Oh, yeah, we that's that's happening. That's happening. How did the hint look? Let's go. The Broncos. This is how it happened. 
the Broncos beat the Cowboys. Skip loves the Cowboys. Obviously, I played for the Broncos. I love the Broncos. And I wanted to celebrate. But I forgot that I wanted to celebrate. So I didn't get an opportunity to go to a cigar, to get, 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 get victory cigars. So I got to be to work at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So the only thing that's open is a convenience store that's open 24 hours. So I stopped in. I'm like, damn. I grabbed some black and miles and some nice. swishers. <laughs> yeah. I had a ball. Of, so that I'm I'm gonna celebrate. Right. Joy says, this seems to this uh this a little bit off brand for you. And that's what I say. Hey, let me celebrate. Why y'all trying to steal my joy, my fun? Mm, right. Y'all get y'all my y'all mad because I'll be on these miles and yet when I be celebrating. And Ocho, I had no idea. Right hand to God. I had no idea it was gonna take off like that. Yeah, it did. And from that moment on, everybody started referring to me as Unc. Yeah. And so people, I don't rarely do I ever, I mean, especially for somebody in our community, rarely do I hear somebody call me my name. They call me Shay or they call me Unc. Uh, yeah. That's it. I was at an event the other night. And I saw LeBron and his wife, Savannah. Mm. Guess what Savannah called me? Unk. Hey, Unk. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like I'm saying in my head, did she really just call me that? Mm -hmm. She did call. But everybody, that's what they called me. So I guess I'm Unk now. Gator C says, yo, Unk and Ocho, I like how you two have th thrived and succeeded from toxic situation, undisputed nine athlete, y'all to go true role models. Look, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to speak to Ocho's situation. He can speak to that. But even in any relationship, Ocho, I was in a relationship for ten years, a relationship for seven years. Whoa, and, whoa, whoa! And anytime whoa. you're in a relationship mm -hmm. and you and you split, it's never instantaneous. Mm -hmm. It's never like, okay, we got an argument. We we were together for seven years and just one day, boom. Right. There have been little things that led up to it, maybe for mm -hmm. a month, two months, six months. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, bro, I can't let six years, six and a half years be ruined by a couple of bad, bad episodes or a couple of bad months. Yeah. It happens. They gave me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I got an opportunity to, to build a platform with Club Shay Shay. Uh, people got an opportunity to see me that, man, I think he could do other things. Mm. Uh, I did uh, uh, inside the NFL, not inside the NFL, I did a uh, NFL network with Co yeah. with uh, Prime and uh, LT. Mm -hmm. So people got to see me outside. So that was really the first time I could like kind of like open up because when time said, hey, bro, I need you. He said, but I need you to be you. He said, I need you to be like how me and you are. I'm like, time, you sure? He's like, yeah, hey. I got it. So now that gave me an opportunity to open up a little bit. Right. Now I could always be, I mean, the one thing about Fox, they never tried to censor me. They just let me go with it. Um, Skip is not the biggest thing, the biggest person on props. He said, because then, you know, people think, look at you as a gadget, but right. I knew when to pull it out and the goat mask mm -hmm. and calling LeBron goat James. I was the first person to call him goat James. I was the first person. Nobody else ever called him that. Yeah. And so it just it just kind of took off on its own. It gave me an opportunity. It landed me here. God don't make no mistakes. At all. Never has. Never will. Because if you say it was a mistake for for Fox for me and Fox to split ways, you're saying God made a mistake. You don't make mm -hmm. no mistakes. Perfect. So and it led me to here. I'm bigger, uh, more people see me, respect me, give me, and, and and give me love. I mean, when it happened, I had so many athletes and entertainers like, man, it's not going to be the same without you, Hunk, but we follow you wherever you go. Yeah. That, that made me feel, that made me feel good. I heard a lot of, and a lot of these people in the chat said the same thing. Um, I speak, uh, uh, and it was, it was, it was great. It, it's been great. It's been great. Um, you doing a uh, uh, nightcap with you. Mm -hmm. Um, the once a week with Gil, man, it's been great. It's given me an opportunity. 
I mean, I can't complain. I can't I, complain. I would I wouldn't change a thing, Ocho. I, I like, like I it. said, I'll let you speak on your the 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 I am athlete and whatever happened with that situation where you can expand <laughs> or you don't don't, but um I'm glad you and I are together. Listen, I'm I I, I love what I'm doing here. Um the 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 space with I am athlete was phenomenal. I really I really loved it. I I I thank Brandon Marshall obviously for giving me the opportunity. Um, obviously, you know it was me, Brandon, Fred, Shannon Crowder, and um, there there were some things that went on behind closed doors that I had no idea about, and um, I I, I was hoping that they could find a way to make amends, that they could handle it like men and meet together and come together, and I just let them know, um. Whenever we do find a solution to whatever the problem may be or whatever the problem was at hand during that time, just let y'all know I'm ready to rock when y'all are. Just let me know what time to be there and make sure there's a camera and I'm going to show up. Obviously, things didn't, didn't pan out the way I thought they were going to go after they after everyone you know came together and, and met they up. They said it was your fault. No, nah, my fault for what? Yeah, it wasn't my fault. But uh, things didn't pan out. Listen, I love all them boys. I love Brandon. I love I love Fred. I love Shannon. Uh, they separated. Everybody went their own way. And what I wasn't going to do was I wasn't going to pick sides. I wasn't going to pick sides. So I fell back completely away from the space of doing anything having to do with podcasts with with Brandon and have anything to do with podcasts with what Fred and Shannon were doing with Ryan Clark on the pivot. Uh, it got to the point where I was so frustrated and and how I was how I was with you. I was doing the same thing as far as I was saying you need to get cat and the rest of those fellas in the same room. I was throwing out hints and and taking shots on Twitter and Instagram. Talk about man, how dope would it be to have a podcast called a cu- a couple of athletes trying to pivot, just throwing a hit out there, trying to get them to come together. And again, we are more powerful as one as opposed to split apart and you know things just didn't it didn't pan out that way uh obviously the pivot is doing their thing brandon marshall is doing his thing right now i believe with, with, with cam with cam newton and i wish all them boys the best man i love them to death again i miss those times though i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna see in front i'm not gonna see in front i miss those times i miss the chemistry i miss just just the camaraderie, just having having the athlete in the, in that that athlete space, you know, it, it's different. You know, you and I are great. great. You and I are really great. But something about being with those dudes that you played against, and uh, I I don't know, man, it, it's it's tough. I'm not gonna cry. I'm getting a little emo- getting really emotional. I don't know who brought that shit up, but God damn it, but, uh, <laughs> it, it was it was dope. But everybody's doing their thing right now, man. But what we have right now is is phenomenal. It's great. And again, thank you for the opportunity. And you, you, this is actually being on Nightcap. This is my thirty fifth job. This is my thirty fifth job. So that's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, I guess you part Jamaican, but I ain't really seen no bald head Jamaican. So <laughs> most, I got, I got, ala, I got uh, what's alopecia. What you yeah, I got alopecia. alopecia. <laughs> okay. Faith said, "Welcome back, Ocho. Hey, Shannon. I noticed you." You provide a lot of psychological safety for your guests on Club Shay Shay. You should be proud of that. You're officially Shannon Walters. <laughs> that Laportier is true serum. I mm-hmm. researched. <laughs> yeah, somebody called me uh, Brother Walters, and, and the name rests us so Barbara Walters. Look, the way I look at it, Ocho, if they uh-huh. wanted a 60 Minutes or a Dateline or a 48 Hours interview, they would have went there. They didn't have to come to me. Right. Magic Johnson is big enough mm-hmm. to go to any platform. Steve Harvey is big enough to go right. on any platform, but you know they won't, Mm-mm. because that's that that's not, and that's not what I am. Right, Ocho. Why would somebody go? Why would somebody go to Victoria's Secret expecting to get galoshes? Mm. That's not what they do. That's not what they sell. Right. You know right. what you get when you come to Club Shay Shay, mm-hmm. just like you know what you get when you come to Nightcap. You yeah. know you're gonna get some football mm-hmm. on on Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays, but you're gonna get a lot of storytelling. Yeah, good stories. Well, yes, we don't do dwell heavy in the pop. As a matter of fact, I don't think we talk any politics. So that's not what we are. Nah, we don't. I mean, we tell financials, but we're not gonna give you the Dow or the Nasdaq. Mm-mm. That's not what we're gonna do. So. Just understand 
when you come, when you listen to me on Club Shay Shay, or you listen to us on Nightcap, by now, uh, Club Shay Shay has been in existence since September 2020. By now, you should know the type of show that it is. We've been in existence for a little, almost three, for about three months, Ocho. October, yeah. uh, October 8th was the first time we got the channel. Mm -hmm. We launched our own channel. So yeah. uh, January the 8th will be three months. Oh, you okay. should know when you One come day. to Nightcap with Unc and Ocho exactly what you're going to get. Oh, yeah. And if you're not getting that, okay, we've gotten, you've gotten three months of, 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 of research and mm -hmm. data to say this is what you're going to get. Yeah. And it's only gonna get better. Only gonna get, only gonna better. get better. Uh Jay speaks. Jay speaks. The poet said 85 and uh 84 and 85. What do you think about Taraji's situation? How she feels about her pay? Uh Taraji Henson recently went viral for emotional, honest comments uh about the toll that being constantly disrespected as black actress has taken on her. She also broke down in tears and she revealed that many costs that come with being a big high profile actress. And unequal salaries of black actresses make everything more difficult. I'm I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, and getting paid a fraction of the cost. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. You get tired. I hear people say you work a lot. I have to. And the math ain't mathing. And when mm. you start working a lot, you have a team. Big bills come. They do. They do. Because here's the thing, Ocho. Let's just say I make twenty million a year. Mm -hmm. I live in California, split it in half, 10. Yeah. The agency that I have, they take 20%. Mm. So now from 20 million, I'm all the way down. I'm all the way down with the agency fees. I'm all the way down to 9 million. Shit. So 20 million to 9 million. And I ain't, and I ain't even got, and I ain't even got a check yet. Yeah. See, that's, that's, where, that's where I come into play. That's where you need me as your financial advisor. It doesn't matter. You ain't nothing. You, the only thing you can help me, if you tell me, say, Shannon, move to Las Vegas, move to Texas, move to Florida, move to Nashville, or move to uh, uh, where they don't have no state taxes. And that's exactly what I was getting ready to hit you with. <laughs> and then also, your agent that taking 20%, we're going to find you somebody else. Because no, 20%, but see, that's, that's highway robbery. Oh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm make I'm gonna make sure you have as much as that twenty goddamn million as you as you can get. Um, I, I understand that's the cost. I mean, you yeah. have a chef, yeah. you have you know you have overhead. Mm -hmm. But I live personal, I live within my means. Personal personal yeah, necessities. I got a personal assistance. personal personal wants. Yeah, you got assistance. But again, that goes back. That goes back. So think about Taraji's situation. What right. she's saying, and then now. Now revert back to what we talked about earlier. Turning down roles, huh? Okay. Yeah, turning turning down roles when the opportunities aren't presenting themselves, and you're not as getting as many as you think for us. Yeah. So that and that's 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 what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, that's a tough that's a tough spot. Viola Davis, one of Hollywood's most accomplished actresses, she won the EGOT, which yeah. is the Emmy. Grammy, Oscar, Tony, Tony made headlines yeah. with a complaint in 2018 that an actress of color earned maybe a tenth of what I, I mean, look, when you look at what she's done, mm -hmm. ain't very many people got the EGOT, Emmy, mm -hmm. Grammy, Oscar, mm -hmm. Tony. She don't make what Meryl Streep makes. She ain't making what Charlize Theron. Mm -mm. She ain't making what Julia Roberts. Mm -mm. She not. Right. She's just as accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. But more accomplished. But when you look at it, but when you look at it, what are you gonna do? You want the role or not? Yeah, it's tough. It, put, it if, puts if, everybody. It puts oh, everybody Ocho, in a tough spot. Ocho, very tough it, spot. Because you are an independent contractor, mm -hmm. they says, okay, here's a role for you. Right. We'll pay you seven million dollars, but you're paying Meryl Street fourteen million. You're paying us sixteen million. We'll pay seven million dollars for the role. Take right. it or leave it. Right. That, that's 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 tough though. That 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 that's tough. That's that's tough. That's that's a that's a tough spot because I mean in in um comparison, you know, is, is the th is the thief of joy. Yeah. Comparison is the thief of joy, especially when it comes to 
That's oh man, that's that's tough. I, I'm, it, I'm, I'm, I'm 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 gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Ocho, look, I get it because I see because when I the way I look at it, Ocho, I was like, man, I make good money. Yeah, but I want to make more. What do I need to do? Okay, create my own. Yeah, come up with nightcap. Yeah, I partner with uh, I partner with the volume. Okay, Club Shay Shay. Yeah. Stephen A said, hey, bro, I got a hey, land on your feet over here. Just do more. Right. Yes, I understand. Yes, I have to work hard. But I want a standard and I want my kids and I want my grandkids when it's all said and done. Mm-hmm. I want them to, to be able to start ahead. So hopefully they 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 work hard and can play it forward and we can start something here. Right. But it's not easy. But yeah. I wouldn't change it. Because, yes, I have overhead. I have an assistant. I have other people that do things for me. It is what it is, Ocho. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, it it takes money to make money. Yeah. And all the people, like, I don't have time to do all the stuff that my assistant does, that she handles. Mm -hmm. You know, making sure the car is serviced, making sure this is handled, making sure all the repairs are taken care of. Nah, bro. Nah, bro, I got a, I got people to handle everything. You focus on this every month. You get a a cut up. Okay. This is what was made. Mm -hmm. This is what was saved. This Mm -hmm. is what was spent. Mm -hmm. This is what goes to taxes. So when Uncle Sam want his money every quarter, go and send it to him. I like that. I like how you got, we got a little system over here too. I like, I like the way your (laughs) system works. You know, yeah. see when the money come in, when, when you pay me, it won't even come to me first. It, it, it go to her because she handled the finances. So right. as as the breadwinner, better with the math. I'm 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 good with math too. So she handled the finances because my discipline has went over and been instilled in her. So she I'm trusting her to be able to handle that. So when she make the money, she give me what she think I need each month. Right. That's where we at. So right. I got, I, I got, I got to get you. I, I, I know I'm not supposed to be bringing this up, but I'm not, I'm not sure if you've seen anybody. But I had somebody that wanted to talk to you, so I'm not sure. You got some go money, huh? You got some money. Yeah, uh, her last name rhymed with strawberry. She, Cause I'm looking to kick my feet up. Yeah, yeah. Come on in, you know. Come on, in, you know. Come on in, you know. Yeah. She come in from a hard day work. Give her a mean one. We eat, yeah. eat dinner, watch yeah, a little ever, TV. Yeah, you ever mean one before we go to bed? Yeah, you ever huh? saw the movie? You ever saw the movie Monsters Ball? Yeah, Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, yeah, Holly, yeah, Holly Berry. Man, bad, bad, you bad. Yeah, you ain't ready for your boy Ocho. Let me know now. I'll be in there like section eight. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, Ocho? Man, you better stop playing with O'Shea now. Man, you know how I am. Man, she ain't ready for me. You gonna be hey, you gonna be in there like what? Thanks, Sinead. <laughs> yes, Deep up up in there. Hey, boy, that was boy, boy, <laughs> you boy, that was a good one. But hey, I, I I didn't put the word in for you already. Well, Holly, yes, baby. Hold on. Oh my goodness! Here, say hi to um. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> okay. Why you? Why you still up? How you still up this time of night? Say I don't got school tomorrow. No. Yeah. Say I love you. Love you. Love you too, baby. <laughs> right, uh, uh, Carlos Ren donated. He said, "Um, thanks for giving Cat a platform. Stop, 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 you." Stop. I or anyone else might not like what he what was said, but much of like McAfee with Aaron, you provide a platform. I respect him. For, uh, I respect it from him and you. Love you as well, Ocho. You're my favorite wide receiver of that generation. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Uh, Andy Ricketts donated. Uh, you're bigger than ESPN, and YouTube success is independent and owned. What would keep you? on TV as the genre is declining. Well, I got YouTube. 
I mean, I got, I mean, we got, we got this and we're obviously, obviously we're trying to create uh, uh, more opportunities. Not just, you know, for me, I only got, there's only one me. I can only do this. I'm, I'm maxed to the limit. I'm maxed out. Right. I'm, I'm maxed out. Hey, I'm like a credit card. They got a $10,000 limit uh-huh. and they let me out. I'm already $4,000 over. So I'm, I'm maxed out, Ocho. I, I, I ain't got no more to add. Right. Um, but I, but I like I like ESPN. I, I like I like working with Stephen A. I like McAfee. I like RC. I like the guys. I mean, I'm trying to land on my feet too. When you go bring your boy over there, man. You ain't What's no happening? cat, huh? You ain't no cat. I'm I'm a cat. I got nine lives. Mm-mm. Shoot. Upgrade King donated nightcap up. Uh, Party bus from Los Angeles to Vegas to do the upcoming live show would be amazing. Send the love to Nightcrack. Hey, that would that would be dope. Man. That'd be dope. I would be dope. Ocho, I can't do no but I mean, that's like how far Vegas? Is that like three hours? On a bus, it's probably gonna be four. I mean, you if there's a lot, a lot of people on there, you get you get some cigars, some La Portier, you know. No, it all yeah. depends on what's on there. <laughs> Hollyberry. Hollyberry. <laughs> you know. Man, must be moving like it ain't got no shocks on it. <laughs> ah, Jamal Z donated up. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Love the show. I look up to you like my uncles. I love brushing my teeth five times uh, more now because of you. I appreciate that, Jamal. I mean, bro, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with having good personal hygiene. What you done broke the mic, Ocho? Goddamn motherfucker, keep on moving, man. Okay, I got it. I had to tighten it up the screw. Yeah. Uh, Yolanda C. Darn it, uh, the cognac is out of stock. You know what, Yolanda? But we're gonna get it right back in stock. We had a um, I think a shipment that just touch is gonna touch down it either touch down late this afternoon or tomorrow. And so hopefully by Monday. We'll have it back in stock for you. But thank you, Yolanda C., for your patience, and thank you for your support. C.E. Uganobi. I think that's your name. I hope it's your name. Hey, Unc, how do I get Shay Laportier on the wait list? I filled out the form, but no one hit me back. Uh, you know what? Send him, send your information, and we'll get it out, and we'll, 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 uh, we'll make sure you're on the wait list. And so when it comes back in stock, you'll be the first person you hood up. Do 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 do. Don't tell uh, me no. Please make sure. You, what do we got? Subscribe. Did we gain any? What? Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We sub, we started at six nineteen. We're now at six hundred and twenty five thousand subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we didn't pin the Shea by Laportier uh, at the top of the chat because we're sold out. We pinned uh, Ocho Cigar at the top, and you sold out. So I appreciate guys- y'all. I appreciate y'all buying my cigars, man. Listen, I'm behind on child support. I'm definitely going to catch up now, man. appreciate that. And you talk about having a kid. Huh? I done got up off that bill. I done got out of that bill, and now you're trying to get me back uh, in there. Listen. I'm, 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 I was just being facetious. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not on child support, but you do need, you do need to have a child though. You do, mm-hmm. you need, I need, I ain't need on something. one either. And I ain't trying to get on one. Dude, trust me. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just going, you know, I'm just going to practice. I don't even want to play in the game. Nah, no, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. But I didn't want to practice. Don't, 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 no, you had enough practice. You retired now. I know. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. You I, know what I'm saying? You, I, you need know, you like, to, I need you to fulfill your purpose. Eddie, I did. You're not, you're not done. You're not you done. See how Jordan, I'm sure Jordan go out there and shoot a couple of shots. You see Gilbert, Gilbert out there, he was shooting three. Right, he just right. practicing. He ain't going back out there. I just practice no Ocho. Listen, I know um, I can see you at Disney World, man, right now, pushing that stroller, man. That 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 that'll be, I'm telling you, man. That's that, not that, like that, that'll guy. bring everything full circle for you. No, I'm already I don't like no circles. I like squares. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you. Uh, thanks for uh, subscribing to the uh, Nightcap's podcast feed. You can also get it through the Club Shay Shay, but Nightcap does have its own podcast feed, but Club Shay Shay, and then you guys have been going to both. Thank you. Thanks for uh, selling out um, Ocho Cinco Cigar. Again, 
We're going to have the link up and operational again on Monday to make sure. So we want to thank you. Both of us want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for being so supportive, not only with Club with a uh, uh, Club Shay Shay for me, but Nightcap and Shay by Laportier and uh, and eighty five cigars. You know, y'all had so much to say the other day. What y'all think about these? Oh, like them. I see the oh, that's an organ. That's organ. I know that. What y'all think about these? Y'all cool with these? What are these? Y'all keep on talking about. Uh, must be a, hold on. Let me get this. Them, them oh. Jordans from Oregon. Y'all must be, y'all, uh, what they said the other night, Ocho, is that Unk must be running out of tea. I mean, running out of heat. China mm. will run out of tea before Unk run out of heat. Okay. Yeah. Run, tell that. Talk. China talk. will run out of tea before Unk run out of heat. I like now it. Now run, tell that. Now, now y'all better like stop it. playing with me. I keep telling y'all, I'm a big old cat, and y'all playing with me like a kid. Ooh. Okay. Bars. Don't let that purring fool you. <laughs> Don't let it fool you. Now, now this is what I'm going to do next week. Once I get back, for the next for the next week, it's going to be all dunks. So I'm going to give Jordan a break for a minute. It's going to be all dunks, mm. and then after that, we're going to flip it up. We're going to do the Air Maxes, ones, ninety fives, and ninety sevens. Hold on, I ain't do my shoe. Hold on. Man, don't you man, don't you do the mo the Moses two thousands? Oh my goodness! Well, you don't like these? I have New Balance. I like New Balance. I like man, New like, Balance. Listen, I work. Yeah, I done pulled up a shoe. I ain't even wear the shoe yet. It's brand new. You wait. Hey, I like New Balance and Asics. New Balance, Asics, and Air Force One. That's in Jordan One. That's all I got. Yeah. I got some Air Force Ones, so I, I think we're going to go Dunks, Air Maxes, then we'll do Air Force Ones, and then we'll pro possibly come back to the George, to the Jays. All right, all right, all right. You got your nice little collection. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Again, thank you for hitting the like button. Hit, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Guys, you do, we're doing unbelievable. Um, we really try to get the, get a new, uh, a new plaque. We want that million plaque. That gold one is a little bit bigger than it's a little bit bigger. Hey, we get that million plaque. Remember, I'm just come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Stop that crying. Remember, when we hit a million, I'm I'm taking my first drink ever. Yeah, we I'm got it. My first it, drink it ever. Happen. And what 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 it taste? It's strong. It's good, smooth. You sm you you taste those marshmallows, that caramel, that hint of caramel. Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, I, I listen, I'm. I, I'm I'm I ain't tripping. I'm 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 gonna do it. I don't care. But we hit that million. I'm drinking. Oh, we gonna hit a million. We gonna hit a million. Oh yeah, we gonna hit it. We gonna hit it. Just we about coming. when 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 we hit it. Uh, I, ideally, at the weight we've been tracking, Ocho, uh -huh. probably mid March seems to be seems to be okay. realistic. Okay. Now, if we track like we tracked last month, we gonna hit it in February. Right. I I, I have I have a good feeling. At the rate we're going, uh, with with the topics, the consistency, with the stories, we probably will hit it in February. I I, I just feel it when we do what we do over there in Vegas. Oh yeah, we go we go oh, we go that's, crazy. That's gonna that's gonna seal the deal. We going crazy. We going mind crazy. You, mind you, mind you, I told you first what we do in Vegas is gonna seal the deal. Watch. Oh, we coming. We oh, coming. Yeah. Oh yeah. So thank you for joining us, guys. We really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm hey, your we, favorite. Oh, huh? When we back on? When we back on? Saturday. Okay. 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 I Saturday. just, just want to make. I just want to make sure. Uh, I'm in town. Yeah. Saturday. Uh, I'm your favorite sports. Um, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number eighty five. Route runner extraordinaire. Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Thank you for the support with Club Shay Shay and the Cat Williams interview. Thank you for tuning in tonight on Nightcap. Unk and Ocho. We'll see you Saturday. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.